What is up legends? Helldivers 2, as you may know, has just released a Warbond two days ago. And yesterday I played a full game with the Plasma Shotgun on Helldiver difficulty. But sadly, I didn't quite think the shotgun was that great for terminated play. So today, we're gonna go ahead and test out the new heat-based laser assault rifle known as the Sickle. If I'm not mistaken, that's what it's called. Um, so we're going on to Heath here which is currently the world that we're trying to take back. It's something, it's like a 95% or something like that. We're almost done with it. And it's a frozen world. And in my experience, Heath is actually one of the easier uh, planets out there. Usually it's very open space. And since it's super cold, it's gonna actually give us a little upper hand here. So we're gonna be going with the flamethrower um, the last time when I did the plasma shotgun video yesterday, I used the arc thrower and what ended up happening is I actually ended up using the arc thrower more than the shotgun. Since the shotgun wasn't that great, I actually ended up using the arc thrower like 95% of the playthrough. So we're going to be bringing in here the flamethrower just so I'm less inclined to using it. Oh shit, and I go ahead and spawn right in the middle of all of them. It's great. So I've already tested this assault rifle a few times and I'm feeling very optimistic about it. I don't know what you guys think about it, but uh, I've been quite enjoying it myself. Gotta call in here the shield generator pack, but things are pretty ugly here. Oh, shit. Okay, shield generator's down. I'm gonna get the flamethrower, but yeah, as I expected. Gonna get eliminated, but uh, that's quite all right. We're going to be swerving back here, right towards the flamethrower. Got to pick this bad boy up. Uh, can't reach the shield generator, be too risky. Let me just go ahead and play this safe. Let's go. Oh shit, okay. That dude's a hill climber. The great thing about Heath as well is these little blue plants on the floor. And when they go over it, they actually get stunned and become such an easy target to get rid of. And speaking of stuns, as you may have noticed there, I swapped out from the stun grenade into the impact grenade before we got into this game. The stun grenade is really, really good, but the problem is I've been facing a lot of bile spewers and I need as many grenades as I can get handle these bile spewers. I'll say man I'm really enjoying this weapon for clearing out uh, little swarms of uh, little guys as well as hunters dude. You know personally my the biggest most important thing about a primary weapon for me is its ability to deal with hunters. And this weapon is very capable of that. Just look at this. Get some. Get some. Easy work, boys. Easy work. I'm digging it. Honestly, I was kind of ready to diss on <laughs> on this weapon as well. Just like I dissed on the plasma shotgun yesterday. But this weapon is actually quite good. It does not deserve any diss. Quite a good weapon. Quite a good choice. I'll uh, go ahead as far as to say that I think this may be my favorite assault rifle in the game. The bio spears are a pain in the ass to deal with. If I had the arc thrower, these little guys would be pretty dead, but... Since I don't have it, pretty much my only viable way of dealing with them is going to be grenades. So it's going to be a very long game dealing with these bio spewers. That is assuming nice I managed to pull this game. game off and this recording is not a waste. <laughs> Finally got the shield generator pack here and let's go ahead and get started with the primary objective. I actually intended on landing on the secondary objective but I accidentally landed right in the middle of the primary objective. One thing I've also noticed about Heath, I don't know about your guys' experience, by the way, the radar station is very easily seen there. 
Um, but on Heath, I've noticed that units, they're much more rare for some reason. I feel like there's way less enemies. It's more barren, you know? Kind of easier. I think for me... What do you guys think about this? But I think for me... The hardest planets are usually the planets with like lots of trees and shit. Oh, that went way too far. Like the planets with lots of trees are good in a way. Like you can much more easily run away from enemies. Because like as you kind of blend into the trees, they actually lose sight of you. Much more easily than they do. Oh my god, that almost got me much more easily than they do on a planet like Heath. But um, it's also harder to see them, so when they're swarming your ass, it's pretty dangerous. Pick up here as much samples as I can. We will, of course, be attempting to extract. Should be easy work to extract on this planet. Although... This planet can be a little bit hard to extract because usually I like to kind of circle around the map as the extraction is coming down. But this map has lots of like water, so it may be hard. We'll see. Bug breach incoming. It's time to put this bad boy to work. Let's see how it handles business. at dealing with little guys it struggles a little bit with taking off the brute commander's head other than that really good The breaker just slightly outperforms it, but this weapon is really good at doing the job that I needed to do. Which again, clearing the uh, hunters. I got distracted there. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> but it feels so weird not bringing in the uh, ego airstrike. I'm such an ego airstrike addict. Oh shit! I'm okay. I, I was so sure I was dead. That charger ran into the stun. That's pretty good. Oh crap, got a large group here. No, I didn't quite test when I used the Punisher plasma shotgun. I didn't you I didn't get a uh, a bile spewer planet. But I'm wondering. Oh shit. God, I hate bile spewers. But I'm wondering is if it's gonna be good against bile spewers since it's kind of like explosive damage. I wonder if it's gonna. Oh shit! I wonder if it's gonna be great at like dealing with them or not, since they're pretty weak to explosions. Makes me wonder if the plasma shotgun may like one hit them or something like that. Let me know in the comment section below if you've if you've used the plasma shotgun against bile spewers. Got me wondering now. Because if it does, if it like counters bile spewers entirely, then that's. That would be quite. Uh, quite an interesting feature. How'd you like the taste of freedom? This thing beams, dude. Rico Solo. See, this is what I really like about this weapon. That it does have a little bit of downsides, but it has a lot of upsides. So for the upsides, this weapon's got minimal recoil. It's got a shit ton of bullets. It's heat-based, meaning you can essentially have infinite ammo. Oh, it got super uranium there. And the downsides is, is just... It's got weak damage. That's pretty much the only downside of it. You know, it couldn't be... Just great in every sense, you know. It couldn't have 
amazing ammo, amazing recoil, and amazing damage. It would make that quite overpowered. But this weapon's got a lot of upsides and not many downsides, which is what I think it makes it so great. Unlike the plasma shotgun, which I think has a lot of downsides and very little upsides. Got a low ammo count. A lot of bullet drop off. Very slow bullet velocity. This is going to be an easy kill. Boom. Nice. Okay. And the only upside the plasma shotgun's got is it's got a shit ton of stagger. Because even the damage isn't that great. And I guess you could argue that it's got AoE damage, so that's kind of a plus as well. That's the thing. It's kind of like a plus and a negative, right? Like, you can very easily kill yourself and kill your teammates. Yeah, as of right now, truly, truly digging this sickle weapon. Whereas the plasma shotgun is a bit lackluster. This is the crazy thing about Heath, right? Like, just look at the map. We've got seven points of interest. And the rest is all just barren. Very, very empty map. Also makes it very easy. The map being as wide open as this, you know, giving you perfect visibility as well. It's going to make it even easier. Heath is pretty easy. I'm hoping that we can come together as a group to liberate it. You know, after finishing up all these uh, terminated planets, I'm pretty sure they're going... Spoiler alert! Mute your <laughs> video for 30 Rocket seconds here. But they're going to be releasing the flying units. Uh, and I believe that will happen after the... Uh, After we get through this terminate major order, and I believe this uh, sickle weapon it will be amazing at dealing with these units because since they'll be flying, um, and this weapon having great recoil control is gonna be fantastic at dealing with them. Whereas the breaker may, might actually struggle, because those little guys they're probably gonna be hard to hit. Change the subject now, <laughs> in case people don't want to hear the spoils. Spoiler. Got a damage charger here. A what? What? You can prone under a charger? Did you guys know that? I did not know that. Yo, new meta, dude. When a charger charges you, just prone. <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, I gotta test that out. Is that consist? Can you consistently do it? Yo, I really gotta test that out. I did not know you could prone underneath a charger. That's great. Warm clearing potential of this bad boy is fantastic. Look at this. That is, that is crazy, dude. Do take into account, though, that this is a heat-based weapon, so... Since I'm on heat, and it's a frozen map, this weapon does shoot more bullets than it generally would. But I have played with this assault rifle in other weapons, or in other planets as well, and still had a lot of ammo. Yeah, it has more here, but... Still, really, really good, man. Oh, that's the other crazy thing about this weapon, too, right? Hold on, let me stagger these hive guards. By the way, you can you can light the hive guard on fire and he will be staggered just like this. And then he can run to his side and kill him. That's the other great thing about this weapon. It's got, uh, like I was saying, it's got amazing recoil, amazing ammo count. And it's heat based, meaning you can have infinite ammo. But another great thing about it is it reloads extremely fast. 
So even if you do actually run out of bullets, it reloads so fast, brother. It's great, dude. Definitely my favorite assault rifle right now. And honestly, the more I'm going on here with this gameplay, the more I'm actually digging it. I don't think it outperforms the breaker because I think the breaker still will do a better job at dealing with hunters, which is my priority, but it's still very, very good. We got a spore spewer here. Let's see how many clips this is going to take to get rid of it. Oh, shit. Jesus. But this is where it's lackluster, right? You see that damage? <laughs> it spent an entire clip. And it did not take down two charges. It only took one down. Okay. One full magazine. Still intact. Okay. So a little bit over one full magazine on a frozen planet. Let's rid of the spore spewer. Guessing on a regular planet. That'll be about two magazines. Let's get rid here of the stalker layer. I'm guessing it's the double stalker layer since there were two of them. Yep, okay, it is the double stalker layer. And I have no grenades offered. Let me call in this resupply. Oh shit, I did not hear you spawning, dude. Oh. Oh shit. Well, the resupply took one of them out. I know you guys can't tell on your end, but I constantly have this glitch where I'm coming down from a drop pod and I can't control my drop pod. Does that happen to you guys too? Is that just me? Is that just some PC? Like what's going on? Yeah, I definitely heard something there. I thought I was getting flanked. Oh my god. But yeah, like oftentimes when I die, I try to control my drop pod. And it just like, it will not go where I want it to go. It just like has its own mind. What's that Bile Titan doing, dude? He's just chilling. I'm like scared of the stalker. I'm not going to lie to you. There you are. How are you still alive, bro? Oh my God, it's still alive. <laughs> We're going to hit him with the uh, orbital rail cannon. Live, 500 kilo. That 500 kilo was perfect. Should have maybe used it first. By the way, yeah, 500 kilos were definitely nerfed. Definitely. I've definitely made my mind up on it. They definitely nerfed it against Bile Titans. I don't know what they did with it. There is definitely a hidden nerf there. We got a massive group here. Let me back up. Time to put this bad boy to good use. Oh shit. Tell me what you're worth. Say hello to democracy. Dodge. Get some! Get some! No. I was kind of saving that hell pod for Bile Titan. Oh man, that only got five kills. But figured I might might as well shoot it. I don't think a Bile Titan will be coming here. I think I still have a 500 kilo in case one does. How'd you like the taste of freedom? Really good, dude. Really, really good. How about a nice cup of liver tea? Definitely recommend you guys picking this weapon up. It definitely has my seal of approval. Oh, wow. That was going to kill me if I didn't have the shield. Definitely has my seal of approval. This is quite a powerful weapon. Low on damage, but otherwise, everything else about it is great. Like, no downsides. 
only downside being the damage. Also, before I forget, I want to thank you guys for the 11,000 subscribers, which we've just crossed yesterday. We came into Helldivers 2, I believe, with uh, 2,000 subscribers, which were previously from Ready or Not. We have gained a whopping 9,000 subscribers in Helldivers 2, so that is fantastic. Thank you guys very much. Hunter clearing potential is quite good, man. Quite good. If this game had. If this was one of those plans with pouncers and hunters rather than biospewers, I would have preferred that. It would have been better to test out this weapon even more. This weapon would absolutely demolish that planet type. I don't think any of these are hitting me. Pretty much save all of my grenades to deal with the file skewers because we have no other means of dealing with them. The flamethrower takes far too long. Shooting them takes even longer. Hit them with the rail cannon, then a five kilo again. If you do a combo like this, 500 kilo doesn't even really need to be that accurate, even though that still was pretty accurate. But it'll be enough to take him down. I also could use here the rocket pods. I forgot we have free rocket pods for today. But totally forgot about it. Tip that I've mentioned in other videos, and you guys definitely may know by now, but when you are flamethrowing, using the flamethrower on a charger, focus on one of its legs. Their heads were nerfed recently. And they die fast from, you know, being shot in the head by a proper armor penetration weapon. But the flamethrower still kills faster if you focus on the leg from my personal experience. We gotta go down. And again, alright. I keep getting asked in the comment section why my game looks like why my character moves so fast. Um, I figured I might as well answer it here all in one because I mean I constantly go around answering these comments but um, first of all use the scout uh, gear. Also equip the scout helmet which also will increase your speed as far as I understand. And on top of that, I play on max FOV, which kind of causes your screen to warp a little bit, which makes everything look faster. From my understanding, that is what's going on. That's why it looks so, so much faster comparing to somebody who plays, let's say on PlayStation, and they got, I think they got a locked 45 FOV, right? I don't know if PlayStation players can change the FOV setting at all. But um, this is twice as much. Like, literally, I think the minimum is 45, which I think is what's default, right? I could be wrong. And the max is 90, so that's twice as much, which is definitely going to make the game feel a lot faster. But really, it's the same speed. All the resupply there. Don't have a grenade to deal with these bio spewers, so that's kind of shit. Uh, couldn't pick a leg there. Oh no! No! Couldn't pick a leg on him. Probably shooting his back leg. 
switch to his front leg. Get some! Get some! Burn him down! Damn it, dude. The flamethrower is so weak against bile spewers. I hate bile spewers, goddammit. The patrol group here. I was thinking of shooting them, but... I think they spotted me anyways. No, they didn't. Now they Have will, though. That was not my doing. <laughs> Get rid of these hunters and then onto the flamethrower we go to handle that charger. Let me see if I can bait the charger onto the blue plant here. Waiting for it to pop up. There he is. Is he stuck? Bring him over here. Charges me down. He's going to step on it. I guess the bio spewer stepped on it, but that should still stun lock the charger, which it did. Oh shit. Ooh, that was quite close. I'm guessing this weapon is going to fare quite well against uh, automatons as well. I don't see why not. Seems very pinpoint accurate, which is going to help a lot with hitting headshots against automatons. This seems like a type of weapon that will work pretty well against both factions. Whereas the plasma shotgun... My theory is that it's going to be good against... It's going to be good against automatons, but it's not going to be very good against... Uh, Terminates. Is that glitched or is it... Okay. It was glitched. But I think this weapon, the sickle, is going to be good against both factions. Got pinpoint accuracy, so it's going to be great at hitting headshots. And it's really good at hunting hunters. I think assault rifle lovers are going to really, really dig this one. If you haven't unlocked yet and you dig assault rifles, you're going to really enjoy this one. stuck. What am I stuck on? Right. I believe we have one side objective to do. I thought there were supplies here. I guess not. We have one more side objective to do. We got the stalker's nest Getting right man. here. West. Stalker right lair. Then we launch the ICBM. And on to extracting we go. Quite a decent amount of samples as well. 18 common, 12 rare, 6 super rare. That's quite good. I'm gonna be taking here the beach. I'm not gonna be messing with nests. As I've said before, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I actually learned this a couple days ago from a Reddit post. But the more nests you get rid of, the more patrols there are. The game makes patrols spawn more often if you've cleared a bunch of nests, making the game harder and harder. So just one tip for you to know on your Helldiver difficulty games. If you're going around destroying nests, odds are you're going to be getting a lot more patrols, which is going to lead to a lot harder of a game. Oh shit, I did, not, I did not see this guy. So, generally speaking, you want to play it safer, just leave the nests alone, yeah, don't mess with them. Even though that sounds kind of backwards, right? The more nests you do, the more enemies there are, and that kind of makes no sense. I feel like, unpopular opinion, but I feel like if you took out all the nests in the game, as well as all objectives, I feel like there shouldn't even really be enemies on the map anymore. Maybe that wouldn't work out, but... Maybe that would cause some serious balancing issues, but I feel like it makes the most sense, right? If you 
clear out everything they've got, they shouldn't have infinite amount of units, right? I don't know. Anyways. Bug breaches are pretty easy to deal with in this map since it's such an open field map. Let me uh, use the assault rifle here a little bit. Look how good this is at clearing hunters, right? Look how fast it reloads. And it's already back. God, I love it. I actually really love it. These hive guards, though, they got a burn. This is like the first weapon after the breaker that I actually enjoyed. At 10 minutes remaining. I feel like every other weapon is just like alright. But this one's great, dude. This one's great. A slugger is good too. But it does shoot fairly slow. So for, for what I wanted to do, which is deal with hunters when I'm going up against the terminids, I feel like this is one of the only weapons that can actually compete with the breaker. Again, I am on the Heath world, meaning I am able to shoot more shots per magazine, but still. I love the pinpoint accuracy of it. That's my favorite aspect. I feel like you can kind of play like aim training. Okay, quite easy. After this, we complete all objectives and we already completed all of the side objectives. This is already the final one. Two, five, seven, five, three. Okay. Pull the hatches. ICBMs are quite easy missions, in my opinion. Which is why, by the way, I prefer to play the Terminate Bug missions. As you can tell, the, the combat is just not on the same level. I'm probably going to end this game with like 500, 600 kills. But like the egg map, you're guaranteed like 700 if you're pretty much taking on every fight. I feel like most of the other missions do have less enemies. Get some! Get some! I feel like ICBM is one of the easiest ones in the game. Generally speaking, anyways. Oh, I don't have any nades. I'm gonna call a resupply. Did I call a resupply already? You're stuck. Free kill. Nice. Right, the resupply. Dude, even the breaker couldn't do this. Dude, I, I totally I forgot about the resupply. I got distracted twice. Even the breaker couldn't handle handle them from this distance right here. This is actually really good, man. Oh shit. Love it. E3. Alright. Oh, 
All right, so we just gotta wait for this. Dropping a pin. Then there is another loading part, and then the mission's done. I wish this was a, either a bit faster or there was a little more to do. A couple of enemies there. I could probably leave them alone, but you know I don't want to. No more. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Holy fuck, dude. Can actually back up here. I forgot the ICBM now actually does damage to you. I don't know how close you have to be, but you're stuck, so I'm gonna get you killed. Canisters empty. Bring you guys up. Fuck them bugs. Look at that beauty of an explosion. Alright, extracting. We go. We got lots of samples too. This is looking good. Got one more rare. Nice. Gonna start to slowly make our way back. I'm not gonna sprint back or else I'll arrive a little bit too early. If I arrive too early, they'll just group up on the extraction zone and I'll be pretty screwed. Slowly make our way there, killing any potential threats. I want them calling reinforcement. Oh, got one more here. Oh shit, he's calling reinforcement. Mother. F oh, did he not call it? Okay. Oh. That was a delay. We got a we got a group right in front of us. We gotta handle these guys first or else we're fucked. That's the whole group in one clip. Fantastic. Even the breaker can't do that, dude. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm -mm -mm. Eagle one, back in Honestly got me wondering, dude. Honestly got me wondering. I think I still prefer the breaker though. Because of these brute commanders, the breakers like three shots to their head or whatever. They're dead, but with this, it, it does take quite a bit. Fire in the hole. Look at what this can do. spawn but in fact that thing that i was saying about the patrols spawning more often when you complete primary objectives they'll also spawn more often meaning if you want to maximize or i guess minimize the amount of patrols don't do any nests and only do the primary objectives when the game is about to end or when you're really ready to extract. I get it? Yeah, that got it. Nice. Battle Titan. Oh, shit. Battle Titans have not been an issue this game. Not much has been an issue this game. The Bile Spewers have actually been the worst thing. Got two minutes left. Gonna try to fight these bug breaches back a little bit. Oh shit, that was close. Have a taste of democracy. Gain my distance. Loki kind of scared of one of those mortars, to, mor mortars, mortars to actually just hit us right in the face here and one hit us. Well, I guess it can't one hit us since we have the shield, but still scary as shit. Get some, get some! Minute 20, we'll start making our way there in a second. 
Oh my god. Oh, that's crazy. Isle Spewers, man. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Not yet. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. I'm out of bullets. We're out of fire, I guess. God damn it, Charger. Go away. Leave me alone. Just want to extract my samples in peace. Yeah, as you guys get to use this weapon, let me know in the comments section what you think about it. I'm actually really, really surprised. I did not expect that much. Oh, here's just the last out of gem. I did not expect it to be that great. I've seen a lot of hate, a lot of dissing on it. A lot of negative opinions on it, but I am genuinely enjoying this weapon. I think it's great. I think it's underrated right now. Why are people demonstrating so much hate for it? Oh shit, we're... Oh god damn it. Okay, this is bad. This is really, really bad. We got a minute and 30, and we're right next to the extraction zone. And I have nowhere to run. If I run forward here, I'm not going to be able to wake, make my way back because of the Bio Titan. Yet the extraction zone... Oh, shit. Yet the extraction zone's like on the edge here, as you can see. Meaning I can't circle around it. I'm just run in circles until the time runs up. Oh, God. This is not looking good, dude. Okay, let's just hope that the little bugs are gonna despawn. Oh no. They went into the extraction zone. I led them here. Oh, frick. Oh, this is not good. This is really, really not good. So this is why you you want to be as far away from the extraction zone as you possibly can afford to be. Or else this happens. Since I was so close and I kind of ran towards it, I baited the other bugs into it. And now they're inside of the extraction zone. Dozens of them. Oh, the odds of me actually making it back is very small, dude. Of course, we're gonna still try. Okay, so it's a landing. Let's make a run for it. Oh, shit. I'm actually nervous as shit. Holy fuck, there are so many bugs. Oh, dude, I don't think I'm making it. Oh, no, dude. Oh, oh my god. Come on! Oh, no. Oh shit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, why did you spawn there? Oh. Oh. There is no fucking way that just happened. That is the most devastating ending of a game I've ever had. I had like fucking 20 common samples, like 15 rare samples. Oh my god. Anyways, gonna have to suck it up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that sad, sad loss. I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Definitely try this weapon out. This weapon's great. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.